let's take a look at creation and consider the creator and in particular the created order of things. This passage we look at, Psalm 8, tells us that we're a little bit below the angels. So if there is some created order, we're pretty far up on the chain of command, aren't we? The angels do what God says and we do what God says just like the angels? Or do we? Do we hear these words and think, oh, we have such authority, we can do whatever we darn well please because God has given us free will and those poor angels don't have that. That's a dangerous thought now, isn't it? Because it separates us from all of creation. It disconnects us. It says that it's really just about us, our people, our kind. And even if we limit it to humankind, we are, well, fools because everything works together and everything that happens in the world, God works together for good if we love God and are called according to God's purposes. So are we, or are we more concerned about our purposes and taking care of ourselves? Take for instance, the thought that there are future generations who are going to inherit this world from us. We might think what we would like to pass on to future generations, how we would like our grandchildren to have good things. But what if we twisted that around and said, what might they expect of us? What is our work? What is our responsibility in this creation? How big is this tribe of ours? Are we responsible only for our children? our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren? What about our neighbors' children and grandchildren? What about those generations we can't even imagine being born yet? What's our responsibility to them? How big is our tribe? 